Hi, welcome to Gin Fun at Wine Mastery. We've got a special treat with you, wild strawberry and pepper. I'll say no more, we'll see you in a minute. Okay, so here we have the Black Lodge Potion Wild Strawberry and Pepper Gin. Now we've done one of these before, I'll put a link obviously to that video, and I'm really, the one we had before was really, really, really excellent, really enjoyed it. It was, yeah, So yeah. I'm really looking forward to this one. First thing to say is that colour, John, that colour. It is vibrant, let's call it vibrant. Yeah, it you is, can probably see is. that on, on, on the camera there. Yeah, it is. It's, it's vibrant cerise. It's a beautiful kind of combination of the uh, pink and like, deep, rich red. And because uh, I've never, or I've always professed to not being a massive fan of um, flavoured uh, gin and such, but that, it looks enticing. It looks like something I want to have a go of, doesn't it? It's kind it does, of, yeah. It's n nice yeah. and bright there. So, yeah. so let's, let's get going. Let's have so a look at the nose. On. Yeah. Well, wow, strawberries for sure. Oh, that, that is just it sorry. smells quite it's, sweet as well, doesn't it? it you does, know, like getting... strawberries with sugar on that sort of mm. uh, the smell you get. It almost has a, a, a liqueur smell. It doesn't smell overly alcoholic. No. For, for me. No. I can still mm. smell the gin in it though. Which I presume yeah. is a juniper. Yeah, I think that it's, I think it's not a, not a smell, but a feeling in, in your nose. I think, I think that's what I'm getting. A feeling in my nose. It's a feeling. Uh, 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 Sounds uh, like you can make a song out of that. <laughs> I might do. We're not finished filming yet, John. Um, but it's a. Okay, okay, all right. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna give it a go. Me too. I don't know what we've already said, but this is forty percent, isn't it? It is forty percent, but that doesn't have the alcohol burn. No. Again. And it's. Strawberries, full on strawberries. I'm not getting any pepper. I, I must admit, I'm struggling with the pepper as well, but I'm not overly bothered. I'm, I'm no, quite no. enjoying that strawberry. No. But, but what is standing out for me is on the nose. I don't know, something like that. You, you almost look at it and think that's going to be overly sweet, have that liqueur kind of um, um, style about it, but it, it, it's not. It, the strawberry comes through and it has a, a hint of sweetness, which I thought for a second is going to go into that typically kind of um, liqueur style, but it didn't. It, it, it dried up almost straight away, and not, not in a horrible dryness. No. And leaving the strawberry there. It has, yeah. And I, I wonder with actually the pepper, we, it might be one of those, like the catalyst, that it's, it's, it's sort of balanced out the taste and maybe counteracting the gin to give you that, mm. so, or, or taking away maybe the, the sweetness of, of uh, well, the strawberry. Of, speaking of, uh, about the pepper, because I'm not getting the pepper such, but it's like a tingling on, on, on my tongue, and not an unnice one where, you know, sometimes when there's so much alcohol in there, it, it, it tickles and almost burns, as a little bit yeah. harsh. It doesn't have that, but there's a definite tickle on there. But it's a nice sensation, it's not. It's, yeah, it's nice, it's quite. Mm. I mean, again, neat, we've not got any ice or anything to water it down whatsoever. That is just very nice on its own. I you mean, could, you know, you I, could happily, could, yeah. I could happily drink that on its own. And, you know, I could happily drink that on, on its own on a summer's day, even. He's going to go on about a boater again, a boater hat on his lawn. Uh, well, there would be, <laughs> that would be nice. But I guess if I had the boater on, if I possessed one, that, was, that is, um, I guess I would have it with tonic. If I had a boater, I think I'd have to have tonic. Talking of which... <laughs> yes, John. Should we try it? With some tonic in. I think we should, John. Okay, well, we'll turn the page. Voila. So, we've added 50% of tonic, having turned the page. Uh, I haven't turned the page. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> let, let's see what it uh, tastes like, huh? Well, so, what are you looking at? I mean, look, oh, yeah, sure. I'm looking at the, 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 the colour there. Um, I don't think it's... A, it's hardly is... diluted it at all, is it? No, it's still vibrant. It's still yeah. kind of yeah. bright. That, and it's, that's, that's the Reese is, is attractive. It's kind of making me, you know, again, and it looks good, you know, that's the kind of thing that you see, sounds a bit odd here, but if, you, if you're out in a bar, especially the cocktail bars, and you'd see something like that being placed down, you think, it's something that you'll be curious about. You'd, you'd be asking the, the mixologist, the uh, colour mixologist, yeah. what, what was that? What is it? What was going on there? It yeah, looks like and it's I bet, been they, I bet they would have to, if they were creating, a, I bet they'd have to work quite hard to get such a really nice colour. Oh, definitely, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's, it's self-made here, so. Yeah, but it does it like, like you said, it looks like they've put, a few ingredients in there to produce yeah, this. Yeah. And that, that's what you've got. All right, all right, shall we, shall we look at our nose? Let's have a look at our nose. I already started, sorry, John, sorry. It's all right. Well, the strawberries have come across much more now. I yeah. mean, before they were there, they were quite sweet, but now it actually feels like I could 
If I, someone put that under my nose and said, what's that? I would think I'm smelling a bowl of strawberries. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I, I would also go so far as saying, to me, it smells a bit like a, a, a soft drink, a juice. Not, yeah. Not a... Um, yeah, yeah. Like you, wouldn't, you, you wouldn't take... The, you, you wouldn't get that... Obviously, we've diluted this slightly here, but you would not get alcohol from that. Or I wouldn't assume. I mean, it's got... I mean, it's got um, it's the sweetness. It smells really sweet. Now, I'm not expecting it to taste sweet, because when it was neat, it wasn't sweet. So I, no. I don't think the tonic would have converted into... But, but on the nose, if I was just to smell that on its own, I, I would go, whoa, this is going to be sweet. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, should we have a... Oh, I'm, 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 I'm watching you, John. I'm thinking, come on, I want to try it. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> All right. Well, it's hardly changed it at all, is it? No. It's made it, and um, I'd probably describe it as a little juicier. Yeah. But then on the nose, I thought it smelled like a juice, so I'd say juicier. It has become... The tingle's not there, but I'm still not, no. finding, the, I'm still not finding the pepper. No. Mm. Again, not that it matters. That is a juicy drink. And I've said this a few times, or, or many times we've, we've tasted this pieces. But that is a dangerous one, is that? It's a very dangerous one. I mean, mm. I mean you, yeah, it's absolutely, there's no alcohol sensation at all with, with that as 50-50. No. I wonder, because it hasn't changed the taste hardly, I wonder if it's worth doing a 70%, just doing 30% gin, 70%, and just trying that and see if there's a, an effect so we get more sort of the, of the, the tonic taste into it, get more of a true G&T type taste. John, are you asking me to try more gin? No. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully, I thought you might. Uh, you, you've twisted my arm. All right, well, in which case, let's turn the page again, then. Ah. Voila! Uh. So, we've added in... So, it's now 70-30 ratio, 30% gin, 70% um, is tonic. Mm. Um, and just, just for uh, so you're aware, we're using a Swept Slimline Tonic. Uh, so it has a little taste, didn't have any. Uh, normally we would uh, use fever tree. Yeah, yeah. But in these lockdown conditions, you have to be, you know, glad for what you can get. It's tough. It's, it's, tough. it's tough. It's tough. It's tough. <laughs> but in, in, the first thing you've noticed there, again, is that colour. Yeah. The colour is, is, is still there. Be it slightly, slightly watered down, but it, uh, it's still very, very vibrant. It's still something you would look at and, and ask the person who's drinking it, what is that? What's that? What have you got? Um, yeah. So let, let's, let's go ahead and get on the nose. Ah, strawberry. Whoa. Strawberry. Again, it's just stereotypical. Yeah. If someone would, if someone put that under your nose and just said, "What is that?" You would immediately say strawberry. There's yeah. no mistake in that. Blindfolded or not, you wouldn't need the colour or anything to. No. No. Strawberry. Wow. Okay. Right. We're gonna. I'm gonna get stuck straight in. John. So am I. Yep. That's <laughs> didn't didn't need asking mm. twice. Wow. Wow. So that has had an effect rather than the 50-50. Definitely different now. Mm. Um, it is that much more refreshing than, uh, than, than the, but you know, which is fine because mm. neat really isn't, the expect, you wouldn't expect it to be refreshing. But this is, yeah, this is like, it's got more of a gin and tonic-esque yep. this nest to it, if you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, I'll give you that. It's the undercurrent of it, isn't it? After, yeah. after, after the initial kind of strawberry um, flavor, which is beautiful again and lush, lush, it's juicy, lush, and then you get that. And I'll tell you what I'm finding now as well, John. And I'm only saying this just because on the hint now, on the end, on the finish, that black pepper, the pepper that, were, that was spoken about, mm -hmm. we weren't finding, I'm finding. But you can get it very, now, yeah? At the very end, yeah, yeah. No, okay. it's, it's, it's there. I'll tell you what, this is a... You know, that's a testament, and, and thinking back, and you, you know as well as I do on the, when, when, when we're tasting, especially the gin, how um, I like to be the purist about, you know, and I like to have the neat. I prefer 90% of the gins that I have. I prefer neat after no, with no tonic. And this, this has actually got more tonic in. And out of the three we've tasted there, well, no, <laughs> out of the three we've tasted, that would be the one that I'd say, let's go for that one. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. Mm. I, well, actually, I'd, I'd go, I think, courses for courses, I'd certainly go for the, the neat, if I, you know, fancied a sort of, you know, a stiff drink, uh, you know, in an armchair. This, obviously, if I fancied more of a, a longer drink on the lawn, <laughs> on the lawn, <laughs> then the I'd, I'd, I'd definitely go for this. And you're right, though, I think the 50-50, which is unusual for us, because normally we, the balance for us, and normally we enjoy gin and tonics 50-50. We both enjoy gin and yeah. tonics 50-50. But for this one, I prefer it 70-30, or neat is, is my, my two preferences. Well, I think uh, Gary and Tony have come up with another win in there. It's yeah, uh, and, and also Gary Tony, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very you much, know, guys. I'm, I'm just looking over at you there, John, as well. I'm thinking, you know, we are, this is just a perfect drink for where we are right now, on the lawn, Yeah. 
Even without your boat, a summer, bit. Summer, summer's evening, nice summer's evening. Yep. Yeah. Very, even without my boat, too, quite so, yeah. Mm. Well, guys, thank you very much for sending this to us. Thank you. It really is very nice. Obviously, guys, I will put the links below as to where you can uh, find this and the website for uh, Black Lodge uh, Potion Gin. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, if you like this video, please give us the thumbs up. Um, it helps other viewers uh, find this particular video. And so until the next video, we wish you a very gin gin. Gin gin.